Hello everyone. My name is John and I'll be your self-service guide for setting up your DSL router. If you need to skip to a certain section, do it now. I can help you with unpacking your new router, setting up the hardware, configuring the router, and completing the 3G failover process. So let's unpack your new DSL router. In the box, you'll find the quick reference guide, a great place to start if you need more detail on the product. You'll also find two external antennae, your DSL router, the DSL filter, a DSL splitter, a power supply cord, two telephone cables, and a LAN cable. The label on the back of the router has important information that you will need to take note of. Remove antennae from packaging. Start by connecting the antennae to the router. Then, connect the 12V DC power supply into your router and into a power socket. Plug the short end of the DSL splitter into the telephone jack on the wall. Now take the grey cable and plug the one end into the red socket marked DSL of the DSL splitter and the other end into the power supply marked in. Then plug the red cable from the power supply marked out into the red socket on the back of the router marked DSL. Your telephone now plugs into the green socket marked phone of the DSL splitter. Lastly, plug the yellow LAN cable into the yellow port on the back of the router and the other end into the LAN port on your computer. You can now switch your router on by pressing the power button at the back of your router. The power light will first come on red and then eventually turn green. Next, the DSL light will come on and flash until a connection is synced. Once synced, the light will remain solid. The LAN 1 light must be green if the LAN cable is plugged in and the Wi-Fi light will be green if Wi-Fi is enabled. The internet light will also be green if the account is active. All of these lights can flash as data is transferred. You are now ready to start configuring the router. Start by opening the internet browser and typing in the following address http colon forward slash forward slash 10.0.0.2 Press enter. Now type in the username and password with admin for both. Click login to continue. From the D-Link page that loads, click the status button. This shows you whether the router is configured. If the router is not online and has not been configured, click setup. Then click Setup Wizard. You will need to have the username and password that was SMS to you handy. A wizard will launch that will take you through the steps. Click Next. Change the current password, admin, of the router to your preferred password and click Next. If you skip this step, the password will remain admin. If you changed the router password, the router will force you to log in again using this new password. Click Next on the Time and Date page. There is no need to change these settings. Select South Africa from the Country drop-down, then select Telcom as your Internet Service Provider. Enter in the username and password that were SMS to you and click Next. On screen Step 4, enter the name of your Wi-Fi network as well as your own Wi-Fi password and click Next. Check all your details in the Summary page and click Next. The router will save your settings. If you are accessing the router via Wi-Fi up to this point, you will need to reconnect the router using the new Wi-Fi name and password. It is important to log out properly by clicking Log Out and not just shutting down your browser window. Next, activate your internet account by opening your web browser, for example, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, and typing www.telcom.co.za forward slash verify ADSL into the address field. Press enter. Complete the fields with your telephone number and order number and click on submit. If you want to test your internet connection, open your browser and type in www.youtube.com forward slash telcom. And just like that, you are connected. To set up a 3G failover, plug your dongle into the back of the router. Open your web browser and type in http colon forward slash forward slash 
10.0.0.2 in the address field and press enter. Type in admin as your username and your new password if you changed it. Otherwise, use the default admin password. Click 3G Internet Setup. Click Add. Click Auto Settings and then Apply or Save. This is the page you will see when your 3G failover is successfully set up. Click 3G Internet Setup from the left-hand navigation to refresh the page. And if your SIM card requires a PIN, click the PIN Manage button. Enter the SIM's PIN, which you will find on the SIM card holder, and click Submit. If you are still experiencing problems, call us on 10210.